Welcome to the e-learning of post-colonial literature. Today, we are going to see a poem to a student written by Kamala Vajiranthe, a Sri Lankan writer. Let's see the poem now. I know why your eyes leap away when they meet mine, why they quickly stray from their quiet contact. I do know your ears are stopped against my voice. The echoes of gunshots have blocked all extraneous sound. Blasts of grenades have cracked the drums. You fear for brother, friend and lover. My eyes as they see yours see torn pieces of human flesh suspended from bushes and trees, fragments of splintered bones, shreds of olive green, the roads spewing human blood, my ears echo breast of landmine. But why can't you, your irises lock with mine? Our ears stop all unkind sound. Let us shake off these brand names and search for herb that heals and make a cooling poultice to cure mass lunacy. Leave behind those ilions and cartridges to antique dealers. Let us plan fresh mythology to stop other Hiroshima's. So, to a student by Kamala Vijarante. So, obviously, she is a teacher and poet come teacher. She is addressing her students who are the mixed population. Some are Sinhalese and some are Tamilians. The teacher tells them that she is aware of what's going on and why they avoid eye contact with her. The students also avoid maintaining eye contact with their fellow uh, students. Avoiding eye contact shows that discomfort and uneasiness that prevails among them. Next, she says that she is also aware why they are not listening, not heeding to her words. The theme of war, that's the reason of their behavior. It is introduced in the lines. It is the gunshot that blocked all the extraneous. The word extraneous means not external, but irrelevant. We cannot expect students to learn subjects where some life-threatening situation is out there which we are doing now but remember we are learning post-colonial literature where you can link this theme biovar which is happening between a east and west country the clash between communism and capitalism Coming back to the poem, the blasts of grenades made them to sacrifice all their superficial love. I mean, the phony love. Robert Frost, in one of his poems, Mending Wall, says, good fences, makes, good fences make good neighbors. Unless and until you don't uh, trouble me, I won't trouble you. That is the superficial love, which I am mentioning now. The teacher, the poet, the teacher then reveals them that even her eyes has witnessed some gruesome horrors of the war. How war ethics have been violated in Sri Lanka is well known to the world that is mentioned in this poem. The human bodies are just thrown out from trees and bushes with monstrous rifles where lethal weapons shatter their bodies into pieces. They won't even have proper burial. The olive green here refers the uniform of Tamil Elam forces who had to fight for their survival. She is mentioning a, line, a word spewing s p e w i n g they had to spew spew means in tamil we can say that like 
ratar she had witnessed spewing of blood the poet then opens up a possibility of a harmonious living let's forget our divisions of singalese and tamilians we are basically humans so let's unite at least now the herb she is mentioning in the poem she is mentioning the herbs that heals and the poultice poultice is a form of herb herbal mixture which cools your body the herb that heals and the poultice that gives you coolness is nothing but the idea of humanity the human nature is the herb is the panacea which is the cure for all the problems in the world in the testing times we should all be united that's her message that's how she convinces her students and she mentions in the next paragraph ilians and cartridges as you know that ilians and cartridges are known for their lavish and richness those kingdoms are in the peak before several in the ancient time they are in the peak of civilization they are in the peak of wealth they are in the peak of enjoyment and the ilion is the name of ancient troy the war between ilion and carthage went for several decades and now both are fallen kingdoms nobody knows about where is ilion and where is carthage in fact carthage is in modern times we call carthage ethiopia which is the poorest country in the world they are fallen kingdoms because of the vanity and pomp they lost everything so she wants us to create fresh mythologies not to follow the same old pattern not to follow the same not to commit the same mistake done by them she wants us to stop here she refers the punic wars between the ancient roman carthage now the closing statement is obviously post colonial the world war happened between the european countries their first and foremost villain is germany but they attacked a asian and asian country like japan the smallest island japan and that shows the racial discrimination if us the the superpower nation they would have dropped bomb easily in germany but they haven't done that that is the biggest question raised i mean it is left unnoticed it is the central theme of the novel the english patient written by michael otenji you have to read the novel guys it is a wonderful novel that talks about post colonialism and post modernism okay coming back to the poetry they had to if they are so powerful they can easily drop a bomb nuclear weapon in germany but they haven't done it there are many reasons but the main reason is racism they are all europeans they are all whites but a japan is an asian country the colonial masters avoided conflict with one another it is easy for them to attack an asian country rather than going with an european country it shows their racist nature so the poem closes with a racial note that shows the crux of post colonialism so the poem starts with the uncomfort why the students are not making eye contact with the teacher because it is a war happening in sri lanka and the teacher also reveals her uh, uh, personal life i mean it's a bi- bi- autobiographical element it is like she says that even i had witnessed such gruesome horrors unspeakable horrors even i have witnessed but it should not corrupt us we should not take any sides uh, we should not be prejudiced the poem almost seems like an advice but it is not an advice it is like teaching them that's what basically she is a teacher the poet is a teacher so it is her duty to uh, show the right way for the 
younger generation so the poem starts with the cruel some nature of war and why they are not uh, uh, in the present moment because war is happening out there later on the poet shares even she had witnessed such cruel some horrors so they should not take any sides then she mentions we should not repeat the mistakes that has happened already in history we should not uh, welcome no more hiroshimas please stop war that's the message